Capgemini Continental Europe is gathering 13 countries. We have a scope of delivery of more than 2,000 projects in responsibility uh, that we deliver for more than 800 customers. And uh, we are gathering around 25,000 people. Uh, most of them are onshore countries, based in onshore countries. And a third is already in nearshore centers or offshore centers, such as India, Morocco or Poland. We uh, have uh, analyzed uh, around 1,700 applications since uh, the last two years and a half, since Jan 2013. Uh, we've made uh, around 3,000 scans of these applications and uh, we have uh, around uh, a level of uh, 60 million lines of code analyzed per month. In fact, uh, as you, you know, we are developing applications or maintaining applications for our customers. And our intention at that moment was to have an, an, a tool in order to be sure that the quality of what we are delivering to the client is at an acceptable and uh, the better, of course, we can level. So to do that, we have decided at that time to put a measurement system in place. The life cycle of a project started with a client who asked us, for example, to take in maintenance a part of his assets. And, and the measurement should start from the beginning, from the client, the first time he asks us a question, and all along the life cycle back to the client when we are producing to him the report and working with him on the transformation of his assets. So it's, it's not a tool. Measurement is just a philosophy that, that is completely embedded in our life cycle. That's what we have think a lot of what, what is the best way to put that in place with our teams. So the benefits are coming from uh, many places, but the main one, if we just took the basic needs of measuring the quality of the code, is to be able to reduce the production cost. How? When you measure the quality of a piece of code, you detect violations, errors, or whatever. The earlier you are able to correct them or to give the people the best guideline in order not to reproduce these errors or, uh, um, or bugs, the, the best you will be in not generating bugs. So you avoid a lot of corrections, you avoid a lot of uh, uh, work during the uh, uh, after phase, after the development phase, when you are in the validation phase or before releasing to the client. And, and the benefits, the real benefits uh, in terms of workload is coming from that. But there are other benefits that are not at all linked with the code. Is how to get a people on board on a very complex engagement of multiple applications. The, 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 the people needs to know in order to be good in making some intervention, corrective or, or preventive on, on the assets. So to, to be able to uh, be efficient during the transition, you need to have a cartography of uh, the uh, scope you are maintaining. You need to, to be able to explain the people what are the good rules to follow in order not to inject new bugs or new violations in the system. And for that, the, the tool, the measurement tool is really critical. People behavior is changing definitely. I will take an example. First of all, everybody is afraid by the measurement. Why? Because the measurement gives you the facts. And the facts sometimes are not very pleasant. But these are the facts. And this is the first uh, step you have to, uh, uh, to make, is to accept the reality. When you have accepted the reality, then you are ready for a transformation, for an improvement. Otherwise, you never accept the reality, but you are not very good to put action in, or action plan in place because you don't know what exactly needs to be improved. So what you have to do is to accept to be measured. It's not a punishment. It's not used to uh, 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 be rude uh, with the people, but it's just an helpful uh, way to make them improve. At the beginning, it's just 
something that, that bother you a bit because you are not very sure about you. But when you accept to be measured, then after you act in order to be better. That's it. So what we can observe is that first, you generate more revenue when the client is aware about measurement. Measurement is the, the first step to build trust. And trust is a key essential element of our business. So when you make some measurement in transparency, you share that with the client. So he knows what you are doing. You know what he is giving to you in maintenance. Everything is clear. And then you can uh, think about improvement plan. An improvement plan obviously generates business for us and generates more satisfaction for our client because it's the, we are not generating business in any case, not for having a, a business value for our client. So it's a win-win situation. I accept to, to, to enter this measurement system. For the client, he will get more quality, he will get a, a, a real focus of his investment in order to transform his assets. And for us, it generates more business. It's a really a win-win situation. Cast gives visibility on application to the development team. So the very basic stuff is just to say to the people where they are, what have they, do, uh, what have they, uh, have they done, and what are the action plan to correct what they have done wrongly. That's very basic but very, very important because the developers will know what they have to focus on to make better quality. And, and that can be done continuously on the project. Huh? So it's not something uh, with, a, it's a very short term uh, objective. The second thing uh, which is uh, important with the tool is to secure the global application. What I meant here is you not only have to monitor the quality of what you commit in your continuous integration, you have to secure globally the risk of your system, your applications through the layers, through the architectures, the different uh, layers of archi architectures, so the different applications. And CAST here is a tool that allows you to have a good knowledge of how all is interacting between your application, meaning in terms of perform global performance, security, and so on and so forth. So that's the second very important aspect of the tool. And the last thing, the third thing about uh, the tool itself, is to build trust with our customer. It's very important that everyone is at ease with what the, the tool is telling us. The tool is telling us some facts. We have to be trusting the tools, trusting each other with the client in order to take the good decision of what will be in the action plan in order to improve. Internally, it's for us to uh, mean to enhance productivity for our team. When you put measured on the table, as I said, people will naturally fight to reach the measured, the levels, the benchmark, the whatever you, you call that, be because it gives us a status of where they are and where we want them to be. So it, uh, it uh, drives productivity, it, it, it uh, focuses energy in order to correct that. Then measurement also force you to adapt your organization. And for us, it was quite important because we have a, a delivery, distributed delivery organization. So we need to keep the measurement done by your team, which is apart from the project. It's not done inside the project, but we need to apply the action plan really on the field. So we need to keep the proximity. So for us, it, uh, it, it was a, a good thing to put measurement in place because it has changed a bit the way we are organizing delivery. What, what is very important in delivery is also the, the way you control that you are uh, against your own rule you are performing. I tell to him this is definitely not the good way to improve. Y you have to put the spotlight on what you have. Because what you have is your history, is not related to your people, not related to your role, it's just the fact. 
and the fact must be on the sun, on the spotlight, under the spotlight. When, when you have make your baseline, then you will take decision, and that is your part and your role, and, and what you will make a mark on your company is by your decision, not, not because of the past. So make your decision and make them uh, wisely, knowing what is in, rather than not knowing what is in. Just look at the future, you have decision to make, uh, and make, to make the best decision where you're going to put your investment for the next six months is a question of importance. If you don't know what, what are the weakness parts of your uh, IT uh, assets, you will choose to spread them all over, the, uh, spread the investment yeah. all over the place, and this is not surely the right thing to do.